The Johannesburg Road Agency are combining a modern technology with a rapid response to vandalism and also helping to reduce traffic lights on a blink around Johannesburg. Over a year ago, JRA mentioned that they will be replacing old outdated equipment and cables throughout the city. So the problem with that old equipment was that it was very susceptible to ingress of water. And of course, water and electricity, bang, traffic signal goes flashing. So we've put a lot of money and a lot of work over the last three years into replacing all those. And we've got to the stage now where we've replaced all the traffic signal controllers. They are all now part of a 15-year cycle. So I won't say they're all brand new, but they are not the leaky controllers that we had before. Vandalism and power outages are some of JRA's biggest concerns. Fifteen years ago, when the vandals first saw that there was um, material of street value and traffic signals, that now what we're doing now is trying to reduce the amount of copper in those cables so that they no longer become attractive to vandals. And uh, something which we've... we've just started implementing is a cable that is predominantly, um, it's, it's got a, th a thin coating of copper and it's predominantly aluminium. So um, the copper is there for the conductivity, but when, when they cut or they burn the cable, because that's going to be left with a, a, a globule of, of nothing. So if we can tell everybody out there, these cables are colored yellow with a red stripe on, don't touch them, they're useless. And once they've dug up a few of those cables, and they've seen that they've got no value to them, then hopefully those cables will be left alone. I'm Pomashoko for Joburg Today.